What's up, Internet? This is Hourglass Gaming. Uh, with that spectacular failure as an introduction, today we're going to be talking about a suggested game mode that some people would like to see for Titanfall. While we talk about that, some Mark for Death footage will play, including one great game that I played while I was getting this footage. I was an MVP and it wasn't a complete shutout, but it was a ton of fun and I think you'll really enjoy it. It has some great parkour escape while I'm the marked target, some employment of arc grenades with mixed effect, and one truly embarrassing death as the marked target. But to get on with things, today's video is going to be to talk about a game mode suggestion that went up on Reddit by the user Strongest Gim for a castle defense mode in Titanfall. This post caught my eye because I had been thinking about some of the components of castle defense games that Titanfall has, namely bots and turrets. For those of you who don't know, games like League of Legends and Dota are hugely popular versions of this kind of game. They revolve around two teams who have a base to defend and typically three lanes in which the teams can move up um, to try and attack one another's base. Bots run out and fight in the no man's land in a tug of war style and the players participate in a more elaborate version of this as they probe the enemy's defenses and try and gain the upper hand before making their final push to destroy the enemy's base. The routes between bases are defended by turrets which need to be destroyed in order to advance beyond these outer defenses and players can purchase in-game upgrades based on their character or class role. These games are complex and highly team-oriented and currently dominate the scene for competitive gameplay and viewer distribution. So if you listen to that, this sounds nothing like a first-person shooter, which is why I think it would be interesting and cool if Titanfall tried to bring a version of this into the genre. So here's how I think this kind of game mode would need to function. Firstly, it needs its own map. Titanfall maps aren't designed for the kind of structured probing attacks that League of Legends maps are. So if you simply tried to have a base defense mode, then each team might avoid each other, slap on satchel charges to a bunker, and then pull the trigger, and you wouldn't have the kind of gameplay that League of Legends promotes. So the map for this mode would need to be structured in a way that promoted direct confrontation rather than circumventing the enemy team. This could be accomplished in two ways. The first would be base design. The bases need to be formidable and well defended enough that if you go in alone or without Titan support, you're simply going to die. The second way to accomplish this is to make death a serious penalty, like it is in League of Legends. By doing this, the potential reward for infiltrating the enemy base is offset by the likelihood and penalty of dying. The second thing I think this game mode would need is to be Titans only. I say this because games like League of Legends have a lot to do with chipping away at your enemy until the time is right, and then going all in. Titan gameplay could be like this if the penalty for dying was great enough. Pilots are easy to kill, however. Pilot engagements last a second if they're taking forever, and typically are just a fraction of that. For this game mode to work, I would think that you'd want everyone in Titans. If a Titan was destroyed and the pilot ejected, then they would need to continue on foot until they died. This would act as a kind of penalty and a double-edged sword. If the pilot dies, then the other team benefits, but until they die, they're forced to continue on foot without their titan. The third thing I think that this game mode would need is a rebalancing of the ways in which titans work. Currently, the ogre has more health than the atlas, and the strider is faster, but these differences don't radically alter the way in which these titans work. I think the ogre would need a buff to its hit points and a nerf to its weapons to make it a true tank, and that the Strider might need one greater dash capacity than it currently has, and a buff to its weapons in order to make it a harder hitting flanker. Striders would be the glass cannons of this game mode, working with the Ogres to take down enemy titans with coordination, while the Atlas would hold down its lanes alone or with less support. I also think that the mode would need to stagger when you get equipment. Every titan might start only with a chain gun, and then as the game went on they would unlock their weapons, their tactical abilities, and their ordnance. This would serve to give the winning team an edge as the game went on and to break the stalemate that might happen otherwise. Finally, I think that bots would need an improvement in their AI and damage for this game mode to work. It's hard to gauge how effective they are in the game currently, just because they typically move in such small groups. But for the mechanics to work for the game mode in the same way that they work in a game like League, then the AI needs to at least pretend that they're competent and that if they start shooting you, something will happen. So what we've basically done in order to make this game mode playable is invent a new game. 
which is basically what Dota did back when it got started and was a Warcraft 3 custom game. Titanfall has some of the components of a castle defense game on a superficial level, but well, once you start thinking about how those elements currently function in the game, it becomes clear that developers would have a lot of work to do before this game mode was ready to play. This fact basically means that we definitely won't see a game mode like this in Titanfall, and it's unlikely in any future titles. Still, it would be cool to try. I'm kept from enjoying games like League of Legends by my inability to use keyboard and mouse for anything but writing, but I still think it's a cool genre so it would be awesome to see something like this in the form of a first-person shooter. But what do you guys think? Do you think that a castle defense game could be created without making such drastic changes to the way Titanfall already works? Would you like to see this or any other out-of-the-box game modes added into Titanfall? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.